Now, so this from Dream Mathematics, higher purchase price, simple interest, compound interest, appreciation, and depreciation. January 2023. So I want us to cover the higher purchase price. But when you talk of the higher purchase, the higher purchase, it is when you buy goods on installments. When you buy goods on installments, the question is provided there. So and this one is a past KCC question. So the higher purchase price of a public system was Kenya shillings 276,000. Then there's a deposit of 60,000 was paid, followed by 18 monthly installments. 18 monthly installments. So the cash price of the public address system was 10% less than the higher purchase price. Question A, calculate, number one, the monthly installments. Number two, the cash price, the cash price. So let's light the higher purchase price. The higher purchase price is 276. There is a deposit of 60,000 that is made. A deposit of 60,000. Deposit of 60,000. Then there is monthly installments. 18 months. There are 18 months. Then the cash price is 10% less than the higher purchase price. So question A, calculate Roman one, monthly installments, and Roman two, the cash price. The cash price. Now there's a question. That's a question there. That's a question. So the monthly installments, the higher purchase price is equal to deposit plus monthly installments. So in our case, we have 276,000, 76,000 is equal to deposit, a deposit of 60,000 plus monthly installments. How many months? They are 18 times each installment. Let's call it I. Each installment is I. So for you to get uh, the, the each installment, take 60 on the other side, you get 276,000 minus 60,000 is equal to 18 I, where I represents the installments, then each installment. So therefore, 276 minus 60,000, that is 216,000, is equal to 18 I. So what is each installment? Divide by 18, both sides. Divide by 18. Divide by 18 and by 18. So 216. 216,000 uh, divided by 18. So each installment, I, is equal to 12,000. Each installment is 12,000. Each installment is 12,000. Each installment is 12,000. So that's how you calculate each installment because you are already given the high purchase price. And the high purchase price is HP equals to deposit plus monthly installments. You already have a deposit of 60,000. So 276,000 is equal to 60,000 plus 18 I, 18 months. Each installment, we call it I. So take this on this side, subtract, you get 216,000 uh, is equal to 18 I, divided by 18 by 18. So installments, each installment was 12,000. Then the other one is you find the cash price, the cash price. The cash price of this item was 10% less than the higher purchase price. So it means if it was 10% less, the cash price was 90% of higher purchase. So it is 90% of the higher purchase. So and the higher purchase is 276. So the cash price is 90 over 100 times 276. The cash price. So later, over 100 times 276,000, times 276,000, you get that the cash price of this item was 248,400 shillings. So that is how you calculate 
the higher participants when you're given that kind of question. When you're given that kind of question. When you're given that kind of question. So that is how you find the cash price. So we have a customer decided to buy the system in cash and was allowed a, a discount of 5%. Was allowed a discount of 5%. So what did he pay? He paid 95% of the cash price. He paid 95% of the cash price. So he took a loan, a bank loan, to buy the system in cash. So the, the bank charged compound interest on their own at a rate of 20. So the rate was 20. The rate was 20 percent. And he repaid the loan in two years. In two years. Calculate the amount repaid to the bank by the end of the second year. By the end of the second year. So now in part B, customer was given a deposit. Uh, sorry, a discount, a discount of 5%. 5% of the cash price. Of the cash price. Of the cash price there. And then he went to the bank and got a loan where he paid this money uh, in two years at 20%. 20% per annum and N was two. So we have that. So I want us to go through that question. We see what this person paid to the bank. What this person paid to the bank. What this person paid to the bank. So therefore, this customer was given a discount of 5% all of the cash price. Why do the customer paid? The customer paid 95%, 95% of the cash price of the cash price. So he paid uh, later five percent of 248,400. That's what he's, he paid. So times 0 0.95, you get to that five, to that 5,908. To that 5,980 is the money that he took he paid, and it is the same money that he took around from the bank that charged him a compound interest at a rate of 20% two years. Two years. So we are told we find the amount of money this customer repaid back to the bank after two years. After two years. Now, this customer took a bank loan of 235, 900 up. Eight. He took a bank loan of 23598 so that he can pay that item. Then the bank gave him a, a that loan on compound interest at a rate of 20% per annum for two years. The compound interest formula is given by A is equals to P into bracket 1 plus R all over 100 to power N. You want to find the amount this person paid back to the bank. So the, one, the money that he borrowed is a principal. Principal is the money borrowed from a bank. So for us to get the amount of money that he paid back, you take to that 5,000 as the principal, 980, bracket one plus. The rate was 20, 20 over 100 to the power of N, where our N is two. Please work out that. Please work out that now. So 20 over 100, that means is 0 0.2. So it is 235,980, bracket 1 plus 0 0.2, power 2. So this becomes to 235,980 times 1.2 squared. Squared. That becomes 1.44. So therefore, you get 235,980 times 1.44. Once you work out that. So what do you get? Times 235,980. You get 
This one is 339811.20. So because it is in the Kenyan shillings, because it is in the Kenyan shillings, you say Kenyan shillings, 339811.20. 20 is a cent. So there's the amount of money that person paid to the bank. That is the amount of money that person paid back to the bank. So what's up? The part C of that question. Express as a percentage of the higher of the higher purchase price, the difference between the amount to be paid to the bank, be paid to the bank, uh, between the amount to be paid to the bank and the higher purchase price, and the higher purchase price. So we express this one as a percentage. So that part C. So the amount to be paid back to the bank was 339,811 at the 20 cents. And the higher purchase price was this. So the difference was 339,811.20 minus 276,000. Minus 276,000. So we get the difference, 76,000. So the difference is 63,811.2. The difference is 63,811.2. That's 0.2 is 20 cents. So there's a percentage. As a percentage of the higher purchase price, it will be 63,811.2 all over the higher purchase price, which was 276,000 times 100. Times 100. So divide by 276,000 times 100. You get the answer in this case is 23.12%. The answer is 23.12%. 23.12%.